Hey guys, what's up? This is Ben Cat here. And recently, we have heard rumors about this guy, the MacBook Air. So the MacBook Air was a model that was released in 2008 by Apple, a notebook computer that was extremely thin and light. And at the time, it was an extremely powerful machine in a very thin and light form factor. However, as the years went by, Apple stopped upgrading the MacBook Air. The current MacBook Air starts at $999 and as such sets itself up as the cheapest MacBook model available from Apple. Unfortunately, it is woefully underpowered for its age and in 2018, we really need more powerful machines. As such, if Apple is to upgrade the MacBook Air for the year 2018, there are certain things that I believe Apple should implement. The first thing that I think Apple needs to do to connect with its customer base is to implement a retina display on this new MacBook Air. For the longest amount of time, Apple has refused to put a retina display on the MacBook Air. Every single other Mac product, every other Apple product even, has a retina display. Yet, on the MacBook Air, Apple puts literally the worst display possible. Terrible viewing angles, 1440 by 900 resolution, it's just abysmal. That is why I think in the year 2018, it is beyond time for Apple to put a retina display on the MacBook Air. Next up, the unity in design with other MacBooks. So this is something the MacBook Air has actually fallen behind on. So I love that glow up logo on Apple products that used to exist. Unfortunately, that is not the case anymore. Every single model of the MacBook that is available, with the exception of the MacBook Air, no longer has a glow up logo. And while I do like the glow up logo, it kind of puts the MacBook Air in a very different, distinct old Apple that no longer really exists anymore. So I think that there needs to be unity with design of the other MacBook products. That starts with getting rid of the Glow Up logo. The next thing that I believe that Apple needs to concentrate on for its 2018 MacBook Airs is the chip, the processor within the MacBook Air. For the longest time, the MacBook Air has been run on a fifth generation Intel Core i series CPU. And in 2015, this was okay but in 2018, it is far too behind. In comparison, the other MacBooks currently run on 7th generation Intel Core i-series CPU, and they will be upgraded to 8th generation CPUs sometime this year. So I believe that in order to remain competitive, the MacBook Air must be released with a 7th generation Core i-series CPU. This would make it more up to date with current standards, However, this would also allow it to be cheaper because the processor would be more powerful than the chips in the MacBook line, but it would be less powerful than the chips in the MacBook Pro line. So I really shouldn't have to say this, but the next thing that I believe that the MacBook Air should have is a 256 gigabyte base model. Like seriously, in 2018, we should have 256 gigabytes for all models standard. But unfortunately, Apple tends to use 128 gigabyte models as standard. The next thing that I believe that Apple must implement in the 2018 MacBook Air is USB-C. When Apple released USB-C for the MacBook Pro in 2016, it was met controversially as USB-C was the only port available on that MacBook Pro. At the time, USB-C wasn't a big thing, but now USB-C is pretty big. In fact, all new computers essentially have USB-C ports. And because of that, I think that if Apple wants to future-proof its devices, all of its computers, including the MacBook Air, need to have USB-C on board. The last thing that I believe that this MacBook Air in 2018 would need is LPDDR4 RAM. And for those of you who don't know, that is the newest standard of low power DDR memory. Most new laptops run on DDR4. Unfortunately, the MacBook line of laptops, whether it be the MacBook or the MacBook Pro or the MacBook Air, all run on LPDDR3. While this does not slow down performance significantly yet, for future proofing, I think that LPDDR4 is a must and that Apple needs to implement it on not just the MacBook Air, but on all of its MacBooks as soon as possible. 
So there are a few features that I believe that Apple may or may not put on the MacBook Air. I'd certainly like to see them, but I do understand that Apple has to make some cuts somewhere to make this the cheapest Apple laptop out there. So the first is Force Touch Trackpad. This is a mechanism that is on the current MacBook Pros and the MacBooks, which allows the trackpad to simulate a click without actually clicking. And it does this through a vibration motor. The Apple Butterfly Switch keyboards. And I just don't think these are necessary. They would be nice to have on the new MacBook Air, but it's just not necessary. That's it for this one, guys. So if you guys have any predictions for the MacBook Air, please feel free to comment below in the comment section. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you dislike this video, dislike. And feel free to comment on any part about this video, whether you like it or not. Uh, thank you very much. This has been Ben Cat.